Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use sets in Python. Now, what is a set? Well, in Python, a set is a type of data that stores a set of things. And this is actually a set of unique things. So for example, if you have a set of these two numbers, one and three, and if you try to add another number, three here to this set, nothing happens and you still have this set one and three because a Python set just rejects any duplicate elements. Okay, let's take a look at some code examples here. If you write a equals set parentheses, this creates a new empty set and then it assigns it to this variable a. So if you print a by writing print a, and then once you run the cell, this thing is printed, set parentheses. This just represents an empty set. All right, and to add elements to this set, for example, a number, you can just write a dot add parentheses one. And this adds the number one to this set. So once you print a, you'll see this thing, curly brackets and then one inside. This just represents a set with only one inside the set. And after that, if you write a dot add two, it'll add two to this set. And then once you print a again, you see that now this is a set of two numbers, one and two. And then if you try to add the number two again by writing a dot add two, nothing happens and you still get the same set because again, a Python set rejects any duplicates. Okay, one useful thing to do with a set is to iterate over every element in the set. So you can do that with for x in a and then print x. So you see that this is exactly the same as how we iterate over each element in a list. So if a was a list, you know, this part would look exactly the same. And this way we can iterate over every element in the given set a. So let's see if it works by running the cell. And it does, we see one and two being printed. Okay, so when should you use a set? One example is when you wanna remove duplicates from let's say a given list. So let's say you're given this list called given list one with these elements, one, one, two, four, and two. Here, if you wanna remove the duplicates, you know, these two ones and these two twos, so that you only have one, two, and four in let's say a new list, you can use a set here. To do that, you can just write this. First, create a new set by writing new set, let's say one equals set parentheses. This creates an empty set. And then after that, you can go over each element in the given list by writing for x in given list one colon four spaces new set one dot add x. So this way we're saying we want to add each of these elements, one, one, two, four, and two to this new set, new set one. And then after that, you just need to print new set one. And what do you think we're going to get? We'll get one, two, and four because we're adding every element in the given list, but this set automatically rejects any duplicates. And that's why we're left with these unique elements. Okay, and what if you wanna create a new list that only contains these unique elements from the original list? Think about it for a second, and here's my solution. First, create a new list by writing new list one equals square brackets. This creates a new empty list. You can do the same thing by writing list parentheses as well and then go over every element in the set, in this set, one, two, and four, by writing for x in new set one, colon, four spaces, new list one, dot append x. So this way we're going over every element in the new set one, and then we're appending that to new list one by writing new list one, dot append x. So after that, once you print new list one, you should see this list, one, two, and four. And just a quick note here, you can add things to a set that are not numbers. So for example, you can do this, b equals set. This creates an empty set and assigns it to b. And then you can write b.add, single quotes, 
apple, and then b.add single quotes banana. And this way we're adding the strings apple and banana to this set. And you can even mix multiple types of things in a single set. So you can do add one, and then this adds apple, banana, which are strings, and one, which is a number to the same set B. So once you print B, you should see this, one banana and apple. Okay, and I think one thing to note here is that the, you know, the order in which you see these elements, one banana and apple, is different from the order in which we added these things, apple, banana, and then one. So a set is a type of data that doesn't store the order in which things have been added to the set, and that's one way in which a set is different from a list in Python. And that's because when you add things to a list by using the append function, like we saw earlier here, the order in which these things have been added to a list is preserved. Okay, let me give you a simple exercise problem to practice using what you've just learned. So let's say you're given this list, given list two, and with these elements, one, three, four, one, and three. The problem is, can you find the sum of unique elements in this list? So the unique elements are obviously one, three, and four, and the sum of those elements is eight. So your solution should be able to find this number eight, and your solution should work no matter how many elements are in the given list. So think about it for a second, and I'm gonna give you my solution in a second. Okay, here's my solution. First, create a new set by writing new underscore set to equals set parentheses, and then run a for loop over given list two by writing for x in given list two colon new set two dot add x. So this way we're adding all the unique elements to this set. So after this for loop, this is gonna have the elements one, three, and four. And to find the sum of those elements, there's actually a shortcut for it in Python. You can just write sum new set two, but here let's not use that for now. And let's do it in a more explicit way. So we'll first create a new variable called total, and then let's set it to zero. And then we'll just add every element in new set two to total. We can do that by writing for x in new set two colon total plus equals x. So this way we're adding each element in new set two, which we're calling x to total. And once you print total, you should get eight. Let's see if it works. And it does. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you as always for watching my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.